Hello guys and welcome back. So let's go ahead and uh, learn another data type, which is the tuple. So let me create a new line here. So tuple is basically really similar to list. The only thing that you sh you should know now is this tuple is uh, not changeable. So we can create like my tuple here. And it equals to, this time we use uh, just simple uh, parentheses. And uh, we can type in like uh, uh, the tuple atoms, like uh, maybe apple, orange, and banana. All right? And just as usual, you can print it out, like my tuple. And you, you got apple, apple, orange, and banana. Uh, but you cannot change it. Like for the list, we can actually change stuff. Like uh, if we change maybe our names, right? So names, uh, and then we got maybe the first one or equals to uh, max instead. And then if we print the names, we got max, right? The first one changed to max, but tuple is not changeable. So if you go ahead and try to do that, like um, my tuple, um, and then you got the first one, right? And then equals to uh, uh, potato. And you do this. Uh, it's gonna give you a warning. Uh, it's not support atom assignment. You, you cannot do that. You can get it if you wanted to. So you can say print out my tuple zero, and it's totally okay with that. You can you can read it, but you cannot actually change it. Okay, so that's basically the difference. Um, so you can convert those two things. Like if I wanted to change uh, the or I, if you wanted to, if you wanted to get like a list of of this tuple, you can say uh, my list v equals to list, and then just type in the tuple you want to convert from. And you got the new list, and now you print out this new list. You can see this new list have the same thing the tuple have, um, but the difference is it's now using the square bracket instead of uh, the parentheses. Okay, now you can change my list now if you wanted to like, so my list, and then change the first one to potato. And you can do that. All right, cool. Uh, for list and the tuple, you can actually also get their lengths. So if you want to know how much atom is inside of either a tuple or a list, what you can do is you can just get out their lens by using this lens function. So you call lens and just pass in whatever you wanted to get the lens of. Uh, so you can say, I want to know the, the lens of names and then you can just do this. You can see the number is four. And if you got the lens of the my tuple, you got three because they only have three. All right. And um, yeah, I guess that's everything I wanted to talk about when it comes to uh, those, uh, you know, containers. So let's go ahead and exa examine some more data types in the next video.